a point moves such that its distance from the point 4 comma 0 is half that of its distance from the line x is equal to 16 then the locus of the point is let p h comma k be the moving point that's a moving point So from the point 4 comma 0, consider A is the point 4 comma 0 and the line x is equal to 16, x is equal to 16 is parallel to y axis. So let us consider the moving point here. And it is given that distance from the point 4 comma 0 the moving point that is P A is half that of its distance from the line x is equal to 16. So the distance from P to A is 1 by 2 times of the distance from perpendicular distance we can take say P M. So 1 by 2 times of P M. And since we know that uh, y is x is equal to 16 is parallel to y axis and point h comma k the distance will be considered say this is h comma 0 the distance from p to m will be taken 16 minus h and using the distance formula from the p to a so we have under root of h minus 4 whole square plus k minus 0 whole square is equal to 1 by 2 times of 16 minus h units or we can write h square plus 16 minus 8h plus k square is equal to on squaring on both sides 1 by 4 times of 16 minus h whole square non simplifying h square plus k square minus 8h plus 16 is equal to or 4 times is equal to 16 square 256 plus h square minus 32 h or we can add 4 h square plus 4 k square minus 4 8 is a 32 h and 16 4 is a 64 is equal to 256 plus h square minus 32 times h or we can add here 4 h square minus h square plus 4k square minus 32h and again plus 32h is equal to 256 minus 64. So 4h square minus h square is 3h square plus 4k square and plus 32 minus 32h get cancelled which is equal to 256 minus 64 is 192. So therefore the locus of the moving point locus of ph comma k is taken as 3x square plus 4y square is equal to 192 so which is our option option a is the answer